going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a screen pump in HitFilm Express. So here we are in HitFilm Express, I have the exact same video you saw at the start along with the exact same music you heard. So playing it through, this is currently what it looks like. Okay, so pretty much there's nothing there. But what you will have seen already is that I have split my clips. So you can see it's split here, it's split here, it is split here, and it is split here. Now the reason it's split right here is because it will go with the song when I do the screen pump. So it's like a kind of a hard sound effect in the song or in the music that will go well with a screen pump. So if I play this through, you'll see that where the splittings are, the hard hit in the song will also play. So as you can see, just like that. So that's what you need to do. If you don't know how to split clips, simply just press C on your keyboard or come over here and select this tool. Play it through, listen to it. When you hear it, just simply slice it. Um, if your audio waves look a lot better than mine and it's pretty obvious where to split it, then of course just do it that way, it will be a lot easier. For me, i done it off recording because it did take me a lot longer to keep playing it back and forth because the audio waves aren't the best on this song. But anyway, moving on to the next step. So, the first screen pump is right here. What you need to do is right click it, select make composite shot. So select that. Now from here, I'm going to call this pump one and i'm going to select leave here and then select ok now this has brought up pump one so this is that little sequence that we've just extracted notice it is just that sequence the music doesn't come with it and that's ok so what we're going to be doing is coming to this button here and selecting this arrow from there we're going to come to the transform button and here we are going to be working with scale so where it says timeline scale zoom all the way in now from here, we need to toggle the animation on scale. So press this circle next to it and you can see it should be highlighted in blue with a blue circle and a blue diamond should appear. This is correct. Next thing we're going to be doing is going across two frames. So come up here or use the arrows on your keyboard and go one, two. From there, simply drag this up so you bring it in. So I'm going to keep mine here. Then come across another two frames, one, two. And then you want to change this back to 100, which is the default. From there, you can X out of this sequence. And now our first screen pump is done. So you can see it's already gone in here. So if I play it through. So you can see just like that. So then we have to work on the next one. So again, right click, make a composite shot. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to call this one pump two because it, of course it is the second one. And I'm going to select OK. So the exact same steps once again, we're going to select this arrow, select transform. We're going to zoom all the way in on our timeline. We're going to toggle the animation on scale. We're going to come across two keyframes by pressing this button or using the arrows on your keyboard. We're then going to simply zoom it in and then we're going to come across another two frames and set this back to 100, which is the default. From there, we can X out of it from here and come back to the editor. And this is now being inserted. So if I play it through, you can see that is how it is currently looking. So we got them two pumps. There's two more left, which I'm just going to speed up the video and do this because I'm pretty sure by now you know how to do it. If not, just rewind it and then you should get it. So you can see I am now done. I've done four screen pumps. Let's play it through and we'll see how this sounds and looks. As you can see, just like that, it is done. I'm not too sure if it was properly synced because my hit film is sort of lagging. That's only because I am recording at the same time. But that is how you create the screen pump in Hit Film Express. The video you saw at the start is the video I literally just edited right now. I'm going to export it after finished recording and this video will be played at the start so you know how the final outcome will look. Now you'll notice um, when I done the screen pump I was only going across two keyframes. If you want it to last a little bit longer by all means you can. I do recommend a maximum of five keyframes otherwise then it starts looking a bit slow and not like a screen pump. <laughs> 